Hello there, it's Diorama Don here with another episode in uh, diorama making. You may remember in my last video I, uh, I made the uh, municipal building here. Uh, so that's all complete. If you want to see how I did that, that's, uh, that's in the, uh, the video I did previous to this. So I'll move that out of the way. Uh, so we want to complete the diorama now with um, a path in front of the, the building and a road here and then the, the rest of the path there. So uh, I've used um, one inch uh, styrofoam for the base and uh, put three millimeter cardboard around the sides as shuttering for go down shuttering for the um, uh, pouring of the road and the path. I shall use um, uh, tile grout as usual if you've seen other videos of mine. Uh, normally the, <coughs> the paths I make from cardboard just cut out rectangles of cardboard and stick them as as paths but I thought I'd try to do a, a, a concrete path uh, and also on the uh, the road it will be a road that was cobbled, but has been um, covered in a in a tarmac. Uh, but the cobbles are just showing through, uh, which is was quite normal for uh, for that period of time. So I've shuttered the uh, whole diorama base uh, so that I've got my three millimeter depth of road there. When that is uh, set then I'll put the curbs in these will be cut and uh, stuck along there and then I've got my shuttered area then for for my paths so um, it will be easy to uh, to tamp the, the the correct thickness of um, of grout so first of all we need we need the, um, a grout. I've used a grey grout, uh, which I shall use for the paths. Uh, but this is um, slightly darker. I've just added some black paint to this to make it slightly darker, just so that it's a different uh, different colour. You you can get black grout, but um, I tried that and it, it, it didn't look right. It didn't. Uh, I wasn't happy with it. So I've just used ordinary grey grout with some black paint in. So I'll pour this, well I say pour, bonk, and it spreads beautifully like butter. <clears throat> That's half done already. This is so much easier than the other methods of making roads. It's just that you, you have to spend the time waiting for it to dry. It does take, uh, take a while for it to dry properly. So there we are, done. That's the, uh, the road area. I'll just clean the sides up either side there. Um, at a certain point of it drying, I shall be able to um, sculpt, <laughs> sculpt, oh, what a mess. <laughs> I should be able to sculpt the um, cobbled stones and also, um, um, well, I was going to make some um, drains. I may have time still to make those before, the, before it goes off. Anyway. You get the idea. So that's uh, that's going to be my road. Um, and so when that's set, then I'll put the uh, path edging um, on both sides, and then I can do the same thing with for the paths either side. So when I've done that, I will come back and show you the result. Okay, so here's where we are. Um, I waited for the uh, grout to dry on the centerpiece 
Um, after about an hour, I was able to scribe the uh, underlying cobbles under the under the road and uh, gouge out a few uh, uh, potholes and a few uh, indentations in the road. Maybe <laughs> maybe went a little overboard with it, but um, I'm, I think that would be okay. So then I did exactly the same thing with the paths either side. Once I'd got the uh, curbs put in, uh, then that gave me shuttering all the way around for for the um, paths. Uh, again, mark those out and uh, made a few indentations in in the path so that when the uh, when the building sits on there makes a little bit more sense so where there is a a shell hit the uh, the building it, it also sort of strafed the path so that's why there's uh, a few holes and uh, bits and pieces in the path um, but that's this position at the moment um, it's going to take a little bit of um, painting and dry brushing and trying this and trying that <clears throat> like I say I've never done this before uh, so um, I'm, I'm not altogether happy with the road at the moment paths are fine they look okay uh, but uh, a little bit of um, painting technique I think is what is needed here so I'll go ahead and do that and we'll see what the outcome is so here we are all finished um, I went over the whole thing with uh, white dry br white dry brushing and black dry brushing and a thin black wash and uh, going over with um, sandpaper um, and I, I think that's about as uh, realistic as uh, I'm going to get with with this. So if I take the building off, I'll show you the the path uh, just scribed into uh, wall grout. That's all it is, and just a little bit of uh, white dry brushing over the top. The road you can see the the cobbles peering through. Um, it really is a terrible road. There's, <laughs> there's uh, holes and cracks and, and what have you. Uh, but it, it's just really to show you uh, what, what can be done with, uh, with just tile grout. And then the, uh, the path the other side there. So with the building on, it makes it look uh, a lot better. I shall have to stick that on. And then a vehicle of some kind. So there we are, that's, uh, that's my roads and paths. You can see that I think. Okay, so uh, another project finished. There'll be another one in the offing in the next uh, few days. Uh, in the meantime, please subscribe. Uh, it doesn't cost any money. Just click the subscribe button and you will be notified when I uh, uh, upload new videos. So it's a very handy thing to do. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have a go yourself, uh, please let me know in the comments below how you get on. Uh, maybe <laughs> you may, may, may make a lot better job than I have. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you for watching. And uh, once again, happy modelling.